Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another chill Marvel Snap video. I am Sir Knight from the Snap Squad, and I just I needed to hop on to make a video. Um, I just I just I'm blown away by all the outrage that is happening right now from the new uh, economic changes that Second Dinner is making to Marvel Snap. Um, I, I'm just like I'm just shocked about how much the community complains when I feel like they're not fully understanding exactly what's taking place here from Second Dinner. And that may be Second Dinner's fault. I, maybe they're not communicating this well enough. Um, and I totally can understand them uh, being given blame when they're not communicating these things well enough. And it takes someone like me to come on and try to set the record straight. Um, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. Um, uh, we have Jeff uh, Jeff Hoogland, which I think is a great content creator. I think he's um, very insightful um, in a lot of the takes that he has about the game. But I definitely just think he's wrong on this one. He says that this economy update is a disaster for Marvel Snap. You can see his um, thumbnail here. It's a disaster. I mean, I just completely disagree with that language. Um, we have uh, Mobile Gamer, who I love as well. And he says, massive nerf, terrible patch. Um, so we got to discuss some of these changes and so I have the uh, changes right here and we'll go through them and I'm going to explain what the outrage is for and why it's not it's not an outrage it's actually it's a benefit for almost everyone in the Marvel Snap community. This is these are really really great changes that I just feel are kind of being misunderstood. So it says in the next few months, we are going to we are we are uh, going to be are going to be truly epic for Marvel Snap. We have a new game mode coming next month, and Marvel Snap's window continues to get polished and prepared for its global launch. We've seen a lot of questions and feedback about how we introduce new cars to Marvel Snap. With our next patch on the horizon, we'd like to share some updates about our plans to improve improve how you acquire new cards. Our goal over the next few months is to find ways. Uh, for more people to get the chance to play with the new cards more often. Flexible series releases. Um, we've heard many players express that releasing everything into series five makes it difficult to get cards, right? So basically what they're gonna do here with the flexible series release is instead of having every card, every new card, every week launch into series five, they're going to have two of those cards relaunch into series four. So for instance, if you have June, there's going to be three new cards launched in June. So that means two out of those three are gonna be launched into series four, meaning they're gonna cost 3,000 tokens instead of 6,000 tokens. So this is effectively, creating a situation in which it will cost six six thousand tokens less a month to get all three series uh all three new card releases all this is happening without them not changing but adding to the token acquisition system right so in the previous token system everyone's done the math everyone's going to get at least once one new card a month if their series three complete because you earned about five to eight, six to eight thousand tokens a month free to play, not spending a single dime in the game. You earned about six to eight thousand tokens a month, so you can buy any new card you want a month. Find the one that you like and buy it. Is anyone buying Howard the Duck? No, don't buy it. You don't have to spend your tokens on that. Find the one card that you think is awesome and buy it. It goes up to about twelve thousand tokens a month if you buy the season pass. Everyone's done the math on this. You can don't take my word for it. I'm not going to do the math for you to save time on this video, but the math has been shown that if you're buying the season pass, ten dollars a month, that you're getting about twelve thousand tokens a month ish. So you're able to buy about two cards you want a month, right? So for simply buying the season pass and that's it, you get almost every card that month. Okay, and you're getting the uh, season pass card. So your tokens go up closer to 12,000 once you buy the series pass because all the additional gold and credits and stuff that you get all goes into tokens. Okay, and so you're going to be getting about two cards you want a month. And if you if you include token Tuesdays and everything that you get, all the ways you get tokens, you get about two cards a month. Okay, now you can get all three a month. For just buying the season pass <laughs> so they've taken away any incentive for you to, to spend more money that's good for you right because now you only need to you only need to buy the season pass and you get basically every card every card launched you want you can get it 
So here's where everyone is having a conniption. Here's where everyone is losing their shit is over this flexible series drop because what they're going to do from now on is drop cards as they see fit into different series. Right? So, however, the reality is not all cards are created equal and appealing to players. Going forward, we're going to exercise more flexibility in what card series and what cards drop series and when. Sometimes this means preserving series a, a series of cards, as in the case with Thanos and Galactus. Other times it means we may drop cards from series five to series three because we simply want more people to experiment with it. We may even skip a month of series drop entirely when the meta looks fun and healthy. These decisions will be made on a card by card basis. In our upcoming patch, we're dropping more cards into Series 3 than we ever had before. In addition, some of the more impactful cards. So, impactful cards is just a code word for good cards. So, some of the more good cards are staying in the current series for longer than expected. So, the problem here that people are having is like, oh, wow. So, if it's a good card, it stays in Series 4 or Series 5. If it's a bad card, it gets dropped down to Series 3. And that's true. And that's basically from a supply-demand perspective perspective if there's a high demand for something then why would a business lower the price right now i understand that when you hear that that sounds bad but it's not bad and it doesn't really matter if you're series three complete now i know a lot of you aren't series three complete but if you're series three complete this does not matter much to you because you don't really have anything to spend your tokens on anyways other than new cards or cards that already exist in series four or five that you may want. There's no other way to get new cards and there's no other way to spend your tokens. You can't get series three cards any longer, your series three complete. So what does it matter if Dark Hawk never drops out of series four for me? I have 3000 tokens sitting around. I have nothing to spend them on. I don't want Howard the Duck. I'll put it on Dark Hawk or I'll put it on Null. These cards that are staying in series four or I'll buy Thanos that are staying in series series five. You don't have anything to do with your tokens other than spend them on these series four or five cards, right? If you're series three complete. Now, if you're not series three complete, this is annoying. This would be absolutely infuriating, right? Because you are so much further away now from ever acquiring Dark Hawk or Null. But Second Dinner has accounted for that. And that's what I think is being missed here is Series 3 card acquisition is being made easier. In a previous patch, we made a few changes for Series 3 players that greatly increased their token earn rate and introduced the free seasonal choose your card section. This made new card releases more accessible to these players and ultimately resulted in more cards being collected. But we've heard feedback from some players that would still like the flexibility of using tokens on Series 3 cards. So, in addition to the choose your card section, we're adding a new way to collect Series 3 cards. In our June patch, we're updating the token shop to include a new section, Series 3 Mystery Card. This will be an option and available to you for a thousand tokens and can be purchased anytime you have enough tokens and unowned Series 3 cards. So you can use buy this as many times as you want. Now, why is this an enormous deal? Because these changes up here don't matter to me as a Series 3 complete player who's buying the season pass every month. It does not matter to me that Dark Hulk, Hawk and Null are series four only. I actually would have bought Dark Hawk long ago had I known it was gonna stay in series four. Now that is annoying, I agree with that, but it wasn't the tokens or that Dark Hawk is staying in series four that is a bother to me, right? I was just gonna wait until it dropped to series three because I wasn't gonna waste 3000 tokens on a car that was gonna drop to series three in two weeks. Right, But if I know it's going to stay in Series 4, I'll spend the 3,000 tokens because it's absolutely worth it. And what else am I going to spend my tokens on anyways? Not Howard the Duck. right? So I'm going to spend my 3,000 tokens on the cards that are good. So it doesn't matter if I'm Series 3. If you're Series 3 complete, I'm telling you, these changes just don't matter to you. They don't matter that much to you. If you're not Series 3 complete, though, these changes will matter a lot to you because it pushes you further and further and further away from ever acquiring Dark Hawk or Null. But now you can use the increased token earn rate to complete Series 3. This was the issue when they made the increased token earn rate for Series 3 players. Last month, they launched the increased token earn rate for Series 3 players, or it might have been in March. 
where they made it so basically people who aren't series three complete are earning the exact same amount of tokens that someone who is series three complete so let me explain before if you were not series three complete every four boxes every four collector's reserves would have a series three card in it right every four would have a series three card in it if you were series three complete that box that would have the series three card in it would have 400 on average collector's tokens in it so if you were series three complete you were earning a whole lot more tokens than someone who wasn't series three complete because someone who wasn't series three complete was only earning the occasional one in four boxes that had the 100 tokens in it so if you were series three complete you were earning the box that had a series three card in it as 400 tokens plus the box every four boxes that had 100 tokens in it so you were earning quite a bit many fold more tokens than someone who was not series three complete so you were able to get the new cards much easier when they launched than someone who was not series three complete however in march i believe they changed that so now series three players who are not series three complete one of the other boxes here is also going to have a one in four chance of having that 400 token drop so not only is one in four boxes going to have a series three card but one in four boxes now has a 400 token drop as well so people who are not series three complete are now essentially earning the exact same amount of tokens every month as someone who is series three complete the person who is series three complete is earning a little bit more but what they did when that happened was they completely removed the ability to buy series three cards from the token shop so now you were rich with tokens but you had no way of spending these tokens to complete your series three collection so that was a big issue for a lot of people and the way I looked at it, it was second dinner did not want to do that because it was going to make them lose money to do that. Because if people could just take this new found riches of tokens and spend them on series three cards, then people would have no incentive to buy at all because <laughs> they're get, being given so many series three tokens. Well, now they're reversing that. They're letting players take all the tokens they're getting. They're not changing the token earn rate at all. So you're still earning your 68,000 tokens a month. And now you can just spend them on series three cards and get series three complete. So it, it's like, this is a huge boon to people who aren't series three complete. This is a huge boon. You're going to get so many more cards so much quicker now. You're going to be able to buy twice as many. You're, you're going to acquire twice as many Series 3 cards in a month than you were just yesterday with this change. I mean, that's incredible. So, so and once you're Series 3 complete, you're going to have nothing to spend your tokens on other than Series 4 and 5 cards. So what do you care if they don't drop a card from Series 4 to Series 3? What does it matter? You have nothing else to spend those tokens on anyways other than cards you may want in Series 4 and 5. So it, it just, this, this is a non-issue because of the series three card acquisition changes you're going to be able to get series three complete quick and once you're series three series three complete you're just not going to care that they aren't going to drop cards because if it's a good card you're going to buy it and if they end up keeping it in series four you don't care because you already own it right so it's just not going to it's going to be a non-issue so is marvel snap being honest when they say updates about our plans to improve your card acquisition to new cards absolutely two reasons you're going to get series three complete so much faster now you're going to get series three complete in the blink of an eye it's going to take you a month or two it won't take you long if you just keep buying the mystery card and you'll finish it so quickly and you don't even need to buy anything other than the season pass any longer because they cut six thousand tokens out of the necessary needed tokens to acquire all the new cards every month so I do not see how this is creating more money um, for, for um, Second Dinner. It looks to me like they're losing money, all because now everyone can just get Series 3 complete in no time for free. You don't even have to be a, you don't even have to buy Season Pass to basically complete Series 3 in no time. Do you understand back in February, before they made this increased tokens earning, a series, a non-Series 3 complete player would only earn a thousand tokens a month so they can only buy one additional series three card a month it was such a grind 
Then they increased the token rate and people were mad because they wanted to increase their Series 3 card acquisition to cut that grind in half. But Second Dinner, no, they kept it basically the same. No, you were getting one Series 3 card a month in February. You're going to continue to get one Series 3 card a month in March, except we're going to give it to you for free. Now they're letting you just basically acquire every Series 3 card in next to no time. Because you before, yeah, you were like, sweet, it only costs a thousand tokens for a Series 3 card, but you weren't earning very many tokens. Now you're earning five, eight thousand tokens a month. You can buy five to eight Series 3 cards in a month. You're going to be finished in no time. And once you're finished in no time, these other changes aren't going to matter to you. I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm just trying to emphasize that this change to the Series 3 token acquisition is, is absolutely enormous. It is enormous for players, and it's being overshadowed by this garbage up here, flexible series drops. It's being overshadowed. I don't know why, but this is a huge, huge, huge change to Marvel Snap's acquisition model. And in my mind, it only hurts Second Dinner adding this change. So those are my thoughts. I just wanted to get this out there. I wanted to be quick about it. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.